What's up, home bartenders? Let's make three dots and a dash. So this cocktail honestly deserves a place among the top tiki drinks up there with Mai Tai and Zombie because this is just the perfect uh, tiki drink. It's got rum, it's got spices, it's got fruit juice, it's got everything you want in a tiki drink. It's got an awesome name, it's got an awesome garnish. Let's make it. So we're using two cans of rum for this one, but honestly, use whatever you have, and two of my homemade liqueurs. We're starting with half an ounce of Appleton Estate Signature Jamaican Rum, and then after that, an ounce and a half of an aged rum agricole using St. James. All right, next up, citrus. We're doing some lime and some orange juice. After that, for our sweetener, we've got some honey syrup. We're gonna do, onto the liqueurs, we're gonna do some Falernum liqueur, and we're gonna do some allspice liqueur. Recipes for both of those are on the channel, so make sure you subscribe. Just a quarter ounce of each, that's gonna give us plenty of spices. All right, after that, just a touch of Angostura, do about two dashes. Oh, oh boy, look at that fail. <laughs> All right, let's get the crushed ice in the glass. Then we're gonna give it a quick, silly whip shake and serve in a tall tiki glass, top it off with crushed ice, give it the obligatory three dots and a dash garnish, and why not, an umbrella. If you wanna learn how to make your own falernum and allspice liqueur, the probably the most essential liqueurs for tiki, make sure you smash that subscribe button because I've got recipes for both. All right, back to it. All right, let's taste three dots and a dash. Oh, I love this one. Right off the bat, it's not overly strong. Some tea drinks are kind of too strong with the rum. It's got lots of rum, but it's not overly strong. First thing you get is that the warmth of those spices from the allspice and the falernum, the tartness from that lime juice, the falernum, the orange juice, and then the wonderful flavor from the rums. Mm. It's just a phenomenal tiki drink. Like I said at the beginning, it deserves a spot up there with Mai Tai and Zombie because this is just a phenomenal, phenomenal cocktail. And it's got what I like to call a functional garnish, meaning, you know, it's cool because it's actually the name, three dots and a dash, but it's also a snack because it's pineapple and cherry so you can eat it. It's not just there for show, unlike the umbrella which is still really cool. Guys, go out and make your own three dots and a dash and make your own Falernum and Allspice if you want recipes. And if you want other cocktails using your own Allspice and Falernum, there they are. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.